Hey everybody, my name is Justin and I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss any of my up and coming videos. Today we're going to talk about the new Jim Jarmusch film, The Dead Don't Die. This has a huge cast of Bill Murray, Tilda Swinton, Adam Driver, Selena Gomez, Steve Buscemi, Danny Glover, Iggy Pop. There's so many people in this movie. This is from the same director of Patterson, which also did star Adam Driver. Now, I did not see the trailer for this movie. I've been trying to avoid trailers recently. I haven't even seen the trailer for Midsummer yet, but I'm really excited to see that film. So I knew this was a zombie comedy, like a satire on zombie films, and it was directed by Jim Jarmusch. So I was a little bit hesitant on seeing this movie, but I did see this movie early and I didn't like it. I really did not care for this film one bit. Jim Jarmusch is a, an interesting director. He has his quirks, he has his style of directing. I'm not the biggest fan of his movies. But this movie, I could tell what they were going for. I could tell that they wanted to be a deadpan satire zombie film. And at times, it does work. And sometimes I do feel that humor from Bill Murray and Adam Driver. But a lot of the times, it just is not a funny film, and it is completely boring and a waste of good talent. I was really excited to see Bill Murray and Adam Driver in the same film, because they both have that deadpan style of acting. It really works for them in their individual movies. Obviously, Bill Murray and Adam Driver are really great actors. They're both very successful, so I was really curious to see both of them in the same movie. What the result is, is them at times have some good chemistry and they're funny together, but the deadpan humor really is dead and it's not that funny. The reason for zombies coming from their grave is pretty interesting. Earth is tilted off of its axis and so it's causing a lot of different things in this town called Centerville, it's 8 o'clock and it's bright out, the animals are acting crazy, the clocks are off, and there's zombies. So Adam Driver and Bill Murray are these cops and they're experiencing all these different things and they really just don't seem to care about the zombies. They're out there slicing the zombies' heads off and everything, but when it comes down to it, they're not affected by the zombies and that in turn makes me watch this film and not really care about what is going on. There are so many actors and actresses in here that really do nothing to the plot. They're just there because they're there and it's a large ensemble film and they're there to, you know, maybe promote the film. Like Selena Gomez. I really could not tell you what Selena Gomez's part in this movie was because she's just there. And it's like that for many other characters as well. They add nothing to the plot. It really takes away from the central story of these two cops trying to stop the zombie apocalypse. And all these other people here and there, I really could not care about their storylines or their part in the film. Now this is a satire, a comedy on zombie films, and I could tell at times that they were poking fun at zombie movies in general. They were making fun of just different things, and I laughed a few times. Key word is few. But when it comes down to it, Jim Jarmusch has created a film that could have been interesting and a fun satire on zombie movies. And the result is a film that's completely boring, really takes its time to get to the fun zombie parts, and brought on a huge cast of celebrities and really did not utilize them. I expected more from this film. Plus, Tilda Swinton is in this movie. And she is unfazed by these zombies, and she has a samurai sword, and she, uh, she's a bit weird in this movie, I do gotta say. Everybody's just a little bit odd in this movie. Carol Kane gives a pretty funny performance. After she dies, she just wants Chardonnay, so she just keeps repeating it, which I found to be pretty funny. There are, there are moments where this movie is funny. I will say that I just did not sit there and just look at this movie like this. I did laugh a few times here and there. It may be from Bill Murray and Adam Driver. Maybe it was just a one line here and there. Carol Kane was pretty funny. There's a few scenes that I will admit are funny. But when it comes down to it in the overall story, I did find it to be very lackluster. Maybe it's because I'm not a big Jim Jarmusch fan. But I just found this movie to be incredibly boring. A waste of talent. 
they were going in one direction and I could tell where they were going with the film and then they just completely lost it and it just did not work. I'm gonna go ahead and give The Dead Don't Die a C minus. I expected more from this film. Um, I, like I said, I'm not the biggest Jim Jarmusch fan, so maybe that's the reason why I don't like this film as much as maybe some people are liking it. Uh, maybe I'm the only one that does not like this film, but I just found it to be incredibly boring and uh, not worth a watch. Thank you guys for checking my review for The Dead Don't Die. Stay tuned for more reviews coming your way. My name is Just Watch Movies. Make sure to subscribe to that channel down below so you guys don't miss any of my up and coming videos. And you guys stay classy, YouTube.